Hey, uh, welcome here at St. Mary's and uh, it's good to be with you. So I, I want to particularly talk with you now about, uh, about life groups. So this is, I guess, the T3T for the week, but it's all three of them have to do with life groups. And so what you're saying to me is my life is too busy. I got all kinds of things going on. I got grandkids, I got kids, I got all kinds of things. So I don't have time to think about another church program or another what's it. So, and I get it, I get, I get how, how busy life can be and how many things are going on. Uh, and yet, because of that, because we are so busy or because there are so many other things going on, let me, let me just kind of lay this out there that, that because of all of that, uh, life groups become even more important for us to be kind of looking at and to, and to asking if life groups aren't going to be a tool that will help us to be able to deal with all of those things in a way that's going to be more effective. So, so let me just give you three reasons uh, to be able to do that. Uh, so number one is that, uh, that in life groups or small group communities, uh, we're not lone soldiers. And so there's actually somebody else out there who knows who we are, who uh, is able to, knows what's going on with us. And so then, so then they can be praying with us, they can be our cheerleader, they can be can be kind of knowing the circumstances of our lives week to week to week because life groups meet in general every week. And so people get to know each other. They know what's going on in their lives. And so you can have people who are there who, who know what's going on and who are praying for you, encouraging you and uh, giving you the, the things that you need to be able to meet uh, the challenges. We don't have to go through all of this stuff alone. We have a community. So that's the number one reason. The number two reason is because it gives us a context of other people to talk about scripture and what it is that scripture has to teach us. And so for life groups, they're starting again kind of in the fall. And so the theme for this coming fall is, uh, is praying the Psalms. So notice it says it's not just a Bible study about the Psalms, it's praying the Psalms. And so how is it that, that we as individuals, but as a group also can learn how it is we can use scripture to be able to increase our life of prayer and, and our relationship with God. So how can we do that? So life groups help us to get into the very practical aspects of how do I not only learn scripture in my head, but also live it out in the things that I do. And then the third reason has to do with uh, that life groups are really the, the uh, a launching pad out into mission. So they provide for us a way of being able to be a community together, supporting each other, and then, and then driving us with the power of the Spirit out into the lives of others. And so it may be that your life group will serve meals at a Mary's Kitchen or at another outreach ministry. It may be that people in your life group simply make a conscious effort to reach out to their neighbors and their friends, or maybe, they, maybe they're just inviting other people to come to their life group. But to be able to be, be people who are conscious of not just ourselves and, and hanging on to the people who are around us, but that we're there to, to kind of reach out and to be a community of love and support for the people who are around. And we're praying for each other, encouraging each other to do that. And in the scary process of what it means to grow as missional people, as people are thinking about taking uh, the life of Jesus and his good news out into the world. So, uh, so lots of reasons. So I just give you three. Uh, lots of reasons to be involved in life groups. So as we get started in the fall, it's a great opportunity to do that. We've got about a half a dozen life groups uh, that are available to you. And so there's a brochure out there uh, that has all of those life groups uh, listed and the, the leader contact information uh, for them. So you can reach out. Or if you're interested, you got a group of friends and you'd just like to get together and start a new life group, uh, give me or Father Christian or Patsy a shout. And uh, we'll put stuff into your hands and help walk you through the process of what, you know, what are the, what are the, some of the details about life groups? So, Jesus doesn't need for us to walk through this alone. None of us is sufficient in and of ourselves. We are, we are made for community. We're made for one another and made to be able to really, really uh, rejoice, flourish uh, as, uh, as we live in community and, and see God work in the lives of, of others as well as in ourselves. God bless. You take care.